I got an A star in your class. Exactly, you see? I pushed you to be your best possible self. I also got a bonus prize. Years of therapy. Turns out, when you put immense pressure on a child and humiliate them for the smallest mistake, no matter how hard they tried, has a hugely negative impact on the rest of their life! If you're here to make sure Dad's dead, you're a bit late. No, I believe you. Taking a crowbar to his casket in the middle of the service would have been inappropriate. Yeah, well, has he never hit you with one of those? Possibly. I remember the hammer. And I remember you nicking it and throwing it in the stream. But you always found something else. Not anymore. First mistake, Sam, you took me for an idiot. I can't believe you're making a second. Sorry, but I think this is a bluff. If we're gonna trade, you'd have to be holding something important to me. I am. If you think any of those men are any significance Did to I me, Did I say that... men? <laughs> Suddenly you're interested. Okay, breaking news. We're bringing in Bernie Galaz. No. No deal. Think about it. No. Nothing. What difference does it make to you if a couple of Iraqis spend the rest of their lives in Britain? Not exactly opening the floodgates, is it? If I did this for you, I'd be admitting MI5 involvement. I'm not going to do that. Fine. Although I'm a little shocked at how likely you'd betray your friends, I'd have expected more of your outfit. I'm not betraying anyone. It's kind of... It's kind of like these trees. Trees. Hear me out. I mean, just look at them. They're two metres apart and they're kind of reaching out for each other. But what would happen when they finally touch? I guess it just terrifies me.